For restless leg syndrome, is it better to take an iron supplement every night or every other night? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and today we address the controversy over iron supplementation. Iron supplementation is one of the main treatments for restless leg syndrome. In fact, iron supplementation by an oral supplement or through IV infusion really should be done in those who are iron deficient before any medication is even considered because it gets to the underlying cause of the condition, which as best we know is low iron levels in certain areas of the brain. So if the blood levels get low enough, the body is able to absorb iron, which can increase the blood levels of iron, which can also help to increase the brain iron levels. So it's not as easy as just taking an iron supplement multiple times a day or just taking uh, any supplement at any dose because iron is a really finicky substance. It is not easily taken into the bloodstream, into the body after uh, consuming it through a supplement. So it requires very careful attention, unlike perhaps other supplements. So one of the key issues here is what's called the hepcidin protein. So this is sort of like the gatekeeper between the bowels and the bloodstream. So hepcidin is a protein that's released into the blood in response to iron exposure going into the blood. So in an individual who eats a meal with a lot of iron or in the case of an iron supplement, that hepcidin protein is released and what it does is it shuts down the doors. It puts a barricade up. And some of the clinical studies of iron supplementation have shown that this hepcidin feedback can block the absorption of iron from anywhere from two to 24 hours after someone takes a supplement. So taking a supplement multiple times a day is usually fairly unhelpful and can just lead to things like constipation and an upset intestinal system. But some studies are now showing that every other day dosing of an iron supplement is even better. Well, this is kind of difficult. It's, it's difficult for a few different reasons. For one thing, most of the studies on iron are in those who have pretty significant iron deficiency or iron deficiency anemia. In restless leg syndrome, individuals with this condition may wanna take iron at much higher levels than just iron deficiency. Even at low normal levels, people would wanna take iron supplements. And it really has not been studied very well in people with normal or low normal iron levels. Iron supplementation is usually studied in people with really low iron levels. So can we really extrapolate information from one to the other? The other thing is the iron absorption is much lower at the levels we want uh, for restless leg syndrome. So the feedback inhibition from this hepcidin protein might be even worse. So it seems like every other day dosing might be better even for people with restless leg syndrome. The problem is the practicality of this is the challenge. Do you take double the dose every other day or half the dose every day because you can actually remember to take it every day? Who can remember to take something every other day? It's very hard to remember if the other day was the day you took it or you forgot to take it. So people end up not taking it very much or forgetting a lot of doses. One strategy to do this could be to just take it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is not quite every other day, but at least you know it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that's the day you take your iron supplement. But oftentimes it just is so practically much easier just to say, take this lower dose every night and you'll remember more likely to take it on most nights than if you do every other night. So that's really gonna depend on the individual and how well they are scheduled and how well they can remember when to take their iron. One of the feedback signs of taking too much iron or too frequently, again, it's constipation, hard stools. That iron is like pellets of a bowling ball or BBs going down into the bowels and plugging up the bowels and not absorbing any water. The stool becomes really hard. It could be a sign that an individual is not absorbing the iron. It's just getting shot right through the bowels and getting stuck. And that's what leads to constipation. So that could be a good sign. But the bottom line is, regardless of how an individual takes it, whether it changes, whether the formulation changes, if one is having difficulty tolerating iron or their iron levels are not increasing from iron supplementation, 
intravenous iron is always a, a good solution uh, to this uh, problem. And it should not be forgotten that if one struggles with an oral iron supplement, that the IV iron is definitely a stronger and more effective treatment that is always available, though with some difficulty. As always, these videos are for general medical information only and do not constitute the practice of medicine or the giving of medical advice. All decisions regarding your health and things like iron and restless leg syndrome should be made under the guidance of a licensed medical professional. As I always like to say, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.